Hi everybody. So the other day on my blog for the Scrap and Peeps Camp I Want to Scrap blog hop, I showed how I made this splish splash layout. Um, and what I had done was I took the stencil that I made out of this die cut and I sprayed the letters for my title. But then of course when I was done, I had the negative space letters left over. So I wanted to go ahead and make a second title using those. Now I have this product called Goose Pumps from Imagine Crafts and this is some super cool fun stuff because what happens is when it dries it sprays on just like spray ink but when it dries it's all bumpy just like goosebumps. So it's a dimensional sort of spray and it comes in a clear color so once it dries it's clear but I thought I wonder if I could add some color to it to make it look more like water droplets. So what I did is I got my India inks out and tried adding the ink to it and it actually worked really well. So I have these, these are uh, old medicine cups that I got at a garage sale, like I think they're from the 1950s or something. Um, so I just cut them down to make it a little bit easier to work with. And you're going to pour little goosebumps in because you want to have enough that you'll be able to mix the ink into it. And we're also not going to be spraying the letters. I'm going to show you a different technique to use to get bigger splotches with a little bit more control than you would have if you tried just spraying it. So I'm going to add my blue India ink here. And you just need like one little drop. Don't know if you can see inside there, I've got my one little drop of blue ink. And I'm going to take, ooh, it's swirling around, it's so pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to take my popsicle stick and just mix it up really good until the color is even. And now that I've got that done, I'm going to make sure the top is on this so that I don't spill India ink all over because it does stain. And I'm clumsy enough to do that. I've already mixed up my teal. Try to get that where you can see it real well. And because I am clumsy, I'm going to use a spray box. So this is a box that I had left over from a kit club I belong to and my kit came in it. Um, and I just think that it's pretty handy to use as a little ink catcher box. And it's free. And you're reusing, which you know I'm all about reusing stuff. And speaking of that, I had done this previously on the other letters outside, and so I had put this paper down to cover my deck before I did this technique on it. And I kind of liked how all of the ink splotches looked on this, so I'm also saving this paper to use for something in the future as well. You can always reuse things. And this is what you're going to do. This is my blue stick, so I'm going to get a little bit of my blue goosebumps on the end of it. And you just want to drop it. Now if you knock it against your finger, it kind of stops the stick. And that makes the water drops fall really easy and evenly. So you're just going to put a few drops on like that. Now I'm going to use the teal to add a few more. And I'm going to very carefully try to lift this so that I don't smudge the drops on it, but so that you'll also be able to get an idea of how it looks. So that is how the drops turn out. And I don't know if you can tell on there that they're dimensional or not, but they are, trust me. So. <laughs> them off to the side. So that is just a quick easy way 
to make your water droplet effect. And using the Goosebumps is a really cool product that I like to use. And I love the fact that I can add inks to it to customize colors. So I really only need to buy one bottle of Goosebumps. And then if I have inks, I can add them and customize a color to whatever I want. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will hopefully see you on my blog later. Bye.